Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Now a chance to break. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's played him through. Shapes to shoot! There it is! There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. So we have our breakthrough. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. It's wrestled off the ball. Tries to dink it in. Cuts it out. to get it forward quickly and he's there to hoof it away hardly anything between the sides and it's 1-0 just brushed off the ball there defenders on the back foot Benevento are leading with half-time drawing close. Kings it out wide. Lovely feet. Goes long. One. That's it for the first half. 
a breathless ending. And here we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Benevento leading a clinchy game here. It's had its moments and it's 1 0 at the break. And the game has already resumed here. Benevento carrying a one goal lead. And now they can launch a counter. Gets it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks to bypass the midfield. Done very well to intervene. Still just a single goal between the sides. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. And now the breakaway. Going through. It's a loose ball. Breaks on here. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Looks to thread it through. Oh, shooting chance! Benevento are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Steered forward. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it's played forward. Over to the left. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. It is all over. Benevento hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable.